Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel DS Tech Mirror. This is part 8 of our Copilot Studio tutorial series. In this video, I will cover how to add agent to Teams. So let's jump directly to the Copilot Studio environment. So this is my Copilot Studio environment and here, uh, you know, we have created this agent so far or one of the agent which is DS Tech Mirror first agents. So I will be adding this agent to the MS Teams. So to do that, I'll click on it. And then before you uh, start adding your agent to Teams or any other channel, let's make sure you publish all your changes. In my case, because of some licensing issue, I'm not able to do that. But please make sure that you do it. So to add your agent to any of the channel, click on uh, channel tab. From here, you will see multiple options available. I will select Teams and M365 Copilot. This pane will get open and over here we have few options. Let's explore all this. At the top we have turn on Microsoft 365 that is make agent available in Microsoft 365 Copilot. What does that mean? That means if you will go to this particular URL which is portal.office.com it is taking you to this particular M365 Copilot. Earlier this used to take us to a different page but now Microsoft has made this change and it is navigating us to this new page which is M365 Copilot. So that means if you want to add your agent over here you have to make sure so that particular option is checked which I have done. Then we have agent preview. Now in agent preview there are multiple things. One is edit details, availability options and see agent in M365 and see agent in Teams. First is let's go to the edit details. In the edit details, here you can change or here you can update multiple options. For example, you can update the name, change color, add icon. Important thing according to me is the description, short description and the long description. Because description is gonna help users in your organization to decide or to understand the functionality of the agent and accordingly they will or they can install it. Show agent disclaimer. Then over here there are two options. What all you know whether you want to allow your users to add this agent to a team or use this agent for group and meeting chat. I will take both of them. Okay. Expand. Then developer name. All these are the different you know details about the agent which can be published. Developer name, website, privacy statement, terms of use, all these things. And then you can click on save. So this is one thing from here you can update the details about your agent. Once that is done, now before uh, I go ahead and I explore the availability options, you can see the preview how your agent will look in M365 and how your agent will look in Teams. I will click on see agent in M365. This is the preview. And here I will get an option to add my agent. See overview again, same thing and permission and then you can click on add once it is being added then you know from here you can test your agent that how or what kind of an experience it is giving in the m365 copilot it will take some time where okay, something went wrong we will see what is the issue uh, let me go ahead and try again but i think we have to see some settings in the admin center so i will try it again then add okay so what i will do i will come back to this later on so now uh, i will let's see how this will look in teams so see agent in teams from here again because i've already added this so i can click on open and from here this will uh, my agent is being added to the team because I've already deployed it. So if I click on hello, it will give me the same kind of an experience what I was getting in the Copilot Studio. And I can say create incident. See, I'm getting the same. This is how I can. Uh, you know, preview my agent in Teams and M365 Copilot. So, guys, I will be coming back to this. Okay. Then we have availability options. So, this is important uh, over here. In the availability options, if you will see, there are uh, 
two things first is how you will share this agent with your uh, users in your organization one is the get a link you can copy this link and you can share it with your members they can go ahead and you can like you share it with them then share the link second is you download a zip file you will get the manifest file and you can upload it in your teams channel if you will go over here uh, in the apps and manage your apps then upload an app and from here you can upload an app okay you can upload this zip file and then you can make it available that is one thing another is a shoe in the store that it will be available in the store and from there users can download it now for that we have two options show to my teammates and shared users that means you will be sharing your agent with uh, you know with certain group or members and then they only will be able to uh, see and install it and use it other than you will make it available to all the users in your organization which i have done and i will show you how you can do that so you can uh, you know pick any of the options so let's see uh, let's see both the options one by one okay availability options so show to everyone in the organization once this is done then what it will say it will say submit for admin approval now if i'll click on submit for admin approval then admin from the tenant admin has to go ahead and approve this request then only it will be available in the teams so let's wait processing your request your request completed successfully now what i will do i will go to the teams admin center okay i think it was already open for me if not i will see yeah, this is the teams admin center and under teams admin center uh, teams app go to manage apps i will refresh it this is teams app and pending approval one updated custom app now from here you can search your app or search your agent i would say here it is ds technical first agent and from here you can approve it publish update because initially i have already approved it so it is uh, asking like whatever updates i have made it has to be made available to all the users so from here i can click on publish this needs a new app because i have not updated the version number from here because in so if you are doing it for the first time from here you will come and publish it it will be immediately done but if you are already making some changes you have to update the version number from here so again what we have to do we can go back go to edit details and let's see if we have the version number over here manage agent details let me see from where we can update the version guys we are facing that issue because you know i am not able to publish it from here because the moment i will publish it it will automatically increase the version number so hence you know i am getting that issue in your case if you, you will you are not going to face that issue so just for the knowledge purpose so how you can uh, approve it from the manager go ahead publish and then automatically this will be approved and this will be available in your teams i'll go back to the agent so where we were channels teams and 365 copilot so under now availability options if you wanted to show it to your team teammates like you do not want it to make it available like uh, with for all the users in your organization for selected teammates or group or uh, some business units from here you can share it with that particular group update and then it will be available once you will publish it now i have to go it again once you will make that change from here then it will appears under team under option built with power platform so i will show you both options so once this is done once all this is done from the copilot studio then we will move to teams so what we have done so far we have before we publish we if you want we have you know added the details of our agent which is name description short description long description okay then we can see the preview preview in m365 preview in teams how my agent will look like then i have availability options under availability options i want to make it available to all the users on the organization or with a selected group if with all the users on the organization it will be available under section built by your organization otherwise it will be available under option built with power platform there is another thing to make your agent available you can download the zip file and you can share it with the users they can upload it or you can share the link so these are the multiple ways so from here we are done now i will be moving to teams so under teams uh, go to apps 
and over here if i go to chat because it is already available i want to show you we will go under apps and from here you will see build for your organization and this is my agent because i have just published it i have not added it so from here i will add it and add so from here this agent will be you know available for me because i have chosen an option to make it available for all the people in the organization if i wanted to make it available for a selected group then it will be available under if you will scroll down under categories even i have to search let's see manage your apps no and if i search edit built with power platform under this this will be available and from here you can add see all these are my apps which are already there if i wanted to add then two teams these are canvas app all these things so my agent will also appear under this category so from here you can add it so guys this is how you can add your agent to the teams now we were facing some issue to you know see a preview over here that that is because of my licensing thing uh, because i'm using a free trial version i'm not able to do that i have some limited uh, options otherwise this should be working for you as well so guys this is how you can you know make your agent edit to teams now in my next video what i will do i will show you how you can edit to the sharepoint sharepoint is something you know uh, you can create some agent edit to a sharepoint site and from here how it can work independently that i will cover in my next video so guys thank you for watching this video if you like this video please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our coming videos till then much love keep learning thank you